Today, today, we're going to win. We're going to fight, fight, fight. Notre Dame stops it. The Irish win the game. Play with your brothers. You got a great opportunity. Let's go seize the moment. Inside Notre Dame Football with Brian Kelly is presented by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, and Sprint. Inside Notre Dame Football is also brought to you by ATI Physical Therapy, Bank of America, Cadillac, CBTS, Xfinity, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sears, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS. Everybody in this room, understand what it takes to win football games today. You did that today. Physically, you dominated the football game today. Physically. Seniors, you guys lead the you, you guys lead this this program and what what's happened here. He gets the game ball, but this win is for our seniors. Thank you very much. Irish head coach Brian Kelly talking to his team after Notre Dame's 23-13 victory over BYU on Senior Day. Hello again, Irish fans, and welcome to this week's edition of Inside Notre Dame Football with Brian Kelly. I'm Jack Nolan. The game ball went to kicker Kyle Brinza, but the day belonged to a very special Irish senior class, a senior class that led the way in carrying out Coach Kelly's pregame instructions. And the pride and the tradition of Notre Dame football needs to be upheld today. We are physically and mentally going to dominate our opponent today. Our will will be greater. And that is on everybody on this football team. Whether you're on the field, playing the game, or on the sideline, you are in this game every single snap. When you have the most live college football, food's ready. Okay, coming. All you want to do is watch college football. With Xfinity from Comcast, you get the most live college football, including ESPN Goal Line on all your devices. You can't get all that with satellite, so switch to the Xfinity HD Premier XF Triple Play or ask about other bundles starting as low as $99 a month for a year. You're home for the most live sport, Xfinity. One more, one more. Let's go, yo. Woo! Proven hydration to help replace what you sweat out. Ooh, one more ah, ooh, one more ah, Let's ah, go. Before they earned enough cash back from Bank of America to help pay for Benny's expenses, before they earned 1% back on all purchases, everywhere, every time, and 2% back at the grocery store, even before earning 3% back on gas with no hoops to jump through. They opened a Bank AmeriCard Cash Rewards credit card just in time to open their hearts. That's the magnitude of rewarding connections. Apply online or at a Bank of America near you. You know the problem with tall things in small spaces? Like dishes that don't fit in the top rack of the dishwasher. Come into Sears. I'll tell you about our one-hand adjuster on our exclusive Kenmore Elite dishwasher. It's amazing what'll happen when tall things have the right space. Also amazing, J.D. Power ranks Kenmore Elite highest in customer satisfaction. One appliance store helps more people find savings and solutions than any other. This is Sears. All week long heading into senior day, Brian Kelly was very clear about the fact that if Notre Dame was to beat BYU, the Irish would have to run the football. You know, a 3-4 defense for us is one that we feel like we match up pretty good when we put two tight ends on the field. And, you know, with Koyak and Troy Nicholas, we feel like any 3-4 defense, including ours, we have an opportunity to hold on to the football, and we needed to do that. Your first offensive possession, you run the ball four times for 23 yards, and then you score on a 61-yard play-action pass to DeVaris Daniels. You know, we're running the football, having a little bit of success, and then, you know, we're just watching. And, and I saw that the safeties were about six yards deep, uh, and really essentially uh, playing the run uh, and at that time we're going to play action pass and uh, nice play action pass uh, 
Double D ran a nice route. Tommy got the ball out to him and a, and a good play action pass always gets those safeties off later and it helped us out uh, throughout the game. Now BYU comes back and scores. You answer with another long scoring drive. The big play on that drive, a 30 yard pass to TJ Jones. Him and Tommy have been outstanding this year in terms of making the big play when we need them. Uh, and TJ, what he's been able to do after the catch has been amazing. His run after the catch, um, we're going to have to sit down and look at it, but it's got to be up there as, as a leader in the country uh, and a great run after the catch and gets us in a great position to score. Talk about Folston's touchdown run from the two. He's a guy that has great forward lean. What we'd like about him is that when he, he runs the ball, he runs physically, he's got a good center of gravity, and uh, as a young kid, he's still learning how to play this game, but I really like the fact that he runs downhill and keeps his, his nose over his pads, and, and that's a good sign for a young kid. You knew this was going to be a tough game. BYU, very good. They tried to answer again, came down this drive to a big fourth and two, and your defense came up big and made the stop. Yeah, really big stop. And, you know, again, they're in a no huddle offense. They're moving quickly. It's not where they take a timeout and they think about it. They're going. We have to be ready. Great penetration at the line of scrimmage. And I think when you talk about stopping a, a, a team like BYU on fourth down, you still have to control the line of scrimmage, and we're able to control the line of scrimmage. It's also a difficult offense to get into a three and out, but your defense came up big again at the start of the second quarter, a three and out that led to a field goal for you. Another good drive that took time. The second quarter was a really good possession quarter for us. We took a lot of time off the clock. We didn't put up the points that maybe you would like. You'd like to get seven instead of three, but a great drive that allowed us to take a lot of time off the clock in the second quarter. The Irish led 17-7 at halftime, and the head coach made it very clear in the locker room that he was extremely pleased with his team's efforts in the first half. I absolutely love what I see. I see a Notre Dame football team playing Notre Dame football. Fighting, tackling, competing. That's the way we play. That's the way we play. But we do it for four quarters. That's only two quarters. That's not good enough. This game is for four quarters. Let's be proud when we come back in here that we played Notre Dame football today. to try new things. Now we have bold new tastes like never before. You like things made by hand. We're now grilling up freshly made egg whites. You like to cool down. We just added a refreshing new smoothie. You get wrapped up in things. We're introducing new delicious ways for you to eat. There's no one quite like you. Now more than ever, there's something for everyone to love at McDonald's. DNR app. Go to I'mLovingIt.com. You know the problem with tall things in small spaces? Like dishes that don't fit in the top rack of the dishwasher. Come into Sears. I'll tell you about our one-hand adjuster on our exclusive Kenmore Elite dishwasher. It's amazing what'll happen when tall things have the right space. Also amazing, JD Power ranks Kenmore Elite highest in customer satisfaction. One appliance store helps more people find savings and solutions than any other. This is Sears. It's college football season, and the orders are pouring in. Sales spike, I'm happy. Profits up, I'm happy. Millions of fans, no time. I'm nervous. Can we handle the logistics? Use UPS. Digital tracking, proactive alerts, less paperwork. We save time, customers get what they need. Everybody's happy. Hey! Buckeye's happy. Gator's happy. Hog's happy. I'm happy. 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 It's a win. 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 Win! I love logistics. The Irish got the ball to start the third quarter and wasted no time getting into position to pad the lead with a 43-yard run by Tari and Folston on the first play from scrimmage in the half. That run set up a field goal three plays later, and the Irish led 20-7. to 
you know, getting off to a good start in the third quarter, uh, and we hit the big run uh, and get great field position to, uh, you know, to obviously try to get some points on the board. Early in the fourth quarter, you've got another drive going, and we've talked about T.J. Jones' run after the catch. What we haven't talked about is the way he has gone to get the football, and on that 32-yard completion, he went and got the football. It was a run play, uh, and uh, they had dropped down the safety. We had one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside. Uh, Tommy checked it and threw a great ball away from the defender, and T.J. made a great adjustment in the air. Uh, you know, when you have that kind of confidence in each other, they're going to make big plays, and they did. And at this point, it looks like you're going in for another score, and the one turnover of the game for you occurs. We had that play drawn up. We had been running um, those quick spot passes with some pretty good efficiency. We knew the corner was going to bite on it. He did. I think Tommy would like to have that one back. But your defense picks up the offense by forcing a punt on the next possession. When you make a turnover, our defense has been great in sudden change. And that's a mentality that you have to develop. So the sudden change mentality of our defense all year has been really good. And when you get that big turnover, and, and when we get them to punt the football, we took the momentum back away from them. And you come back to score again. A big play on this drive was a 17-yard completion to Corey Robinson. Corey would not have made that play. Uh, earlier in the year. He had to shake off man-to-man -man coverage, which uh, has not been his strength. Uh, did a great job at the line of scrimmage, got a clean release, uh, and made a big play for us on third down. And that set up Kyle Brinza's third field goal of the day, a 51-yarder that would have been good from 61. Uh, the conditions were still swirling. Even though the wind was technically to his back, it was cutting across and swirling. 51 yards puts them in a pretty good field position situation if we don't make it. Uh, I looked at it, I looked at the spot, and then Brinza was on my left side, came up to me and said, Coach, I'm going to make this kick. Anybody that has that kind of confidence, you got to go with them. This game is far from over, and they look like they've got a chip shot field goal with a very good field goal kicker, and Jerron Jones comes up with the block. Again, our defense, what they've done so well over the last couple of years is they've risen up in the red zone. Held them to a field goal opportunity, and we get a good push, and, and Jerron is really long. He's had blocks before. You know, you got to execute. We got the hands up and got a huge block at that point. Your defense basically ends BYU's last possession on the very first play with a Stefan Tuit sack. Uh, we were playing defense to get to the two-minute mark, because once we got to the two-minute mark, even if they had scored, we get the onside kick, the game's over because we could take a knee. So uh, defensively, uh, we were calling to keep the ball in front of us. Again, more than we could ask for. Uh, when they ran the ball a couple of times, we got a big sack and we're able to obviously win the football game. There is your final score once again. The Irish win it on a frigid day with snowflakes in the air, 23-13. It is the first time snow has fallen in Notre Dame Stadium during a game since the classic snowball victory over Penn State in 1992. There is a look at your final stats provided by UND.com. Probably the most important stat on that screen, Notre Dame's nearly eight-minute advantage in time of possession. Senior Day is not only a special day for the players, it is also a very special day for the families and friends of the young men who have earned the privilege of playing in Notre Dame Stadium. Kona Schwenke's family never gave a second thought to making the long trip from Hawaii to honor the senior defensive lineman. And after the game, they celebrated with Kona on the field by performing the Schwenke family haka dance. That special moment is this week's ATI Physical Therapy Strong and True Moment of the Week. It's a very special moment, and uh, um, you know, I've been we've been through a lot, you know, um, you know, the entire senior class, you know, not only on the team but everybody here, and um, you know, they could have chanted anyone's name. It's uh, you know, a whole senior class effort, but that was definitely you know, a memory I'll I'll definitely uh, you know hold very closely for a long time. 
Tommy Reese talking about the students chanting his name in the closing moments of Saturday's game. It was a fitting tribute to a quarterback who was thrown for more yards at Notre Dame than all but three of the men to play the position before him. With the win, the 2013 seniors become the first senior class since 2003 to win four straight senior day games. We form, formed such a strong bond together to go out with a win. It was, it was truly something I'll never forget and it was really special to me. Just to know that you know those seniors they'll, they'll never take the, the field again at Notre Dame Stadium and to go out on top you know it's always big. Whenever a kicker makes a kick like that and, uh, especially for me on a senior night um, sending out our guys um, all the seniors out with the victory um, being able to help seal that um, it's just a weight lifted off your shoulder I mean you don't want to come off the field with your head down and then look up and all the seniors looking at you I mean that's just something I wanted to do to be able to help send them out. We've won, we won senior night games the last four years in a row. It's all four years that I've been here, and it's something that, you know, every year that you talk to the seniors before me, it's something they remember and they cherish because we did win. I just think about this group and how close we are, and uh, it doesn't matter if you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Uh, it's very close, and the, and the younger guys came in and knew uh, how important it was to send us off for the victory. It means a lot because, you know, it's something that, that's going to stick with Notre Dame once we leave. It's not just a four-year thing that we started and we want you know the younger guys that we've played with to uphold that standard and to keep it going for years to come. It is a senior class that has helped return consistent success to the Fighting Irish football program. As we go to break now, here are some details on just how productive a quarterback Tommy Reese has been in his years at Notre Dame. You wait all year for summer. This summer was definitely worth the wait. Summer's best event from Cadillac. Let summer try and pass you by. Lease this all new Cadillac ATS for around $299 per month or purchase for 0% APR for 60 months. The best offers of the model year end September 3rd. Excuse me, hi. Uh, I wanted to find out about the unlimited for life guarantee. Sure, Sprint is guaranteeing unlimited talk, text, and data for life. Cool, 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 cool. And uh, what if, say, technically you were not alive? Mm. Like, maybe you were undead? Like a zombie. Whoa, let's not go putting labels on people. I'm a zombie. Switch to Sprint and get unlimited for life. And now, save up to $100 on any phone. One of the most moving parts of senior day is the pregame introduction of each senior. Here's a look at some of the highlights of this year's senior salute ceremony with introductions by longtime stadium public address announcer Mike Collins. A safety from Port Thomas, Kentucky, number 28, Austin Collinsworth. Nose guard, Linwood, New Jersey, number 92, Tyler Stockton. Number 96, Kona Schwenke. Side linebacker, he's from Littleton, Colorado, number 13, Danny Spawn. Inside linebacker, he's from Verona, New Jersey, number 44, Carlo Calabrese. And outside linebacker from Charlotte, North Carolina, number 55, Crescendo. Inside linebacker from Rocky River, Ohio, number 48, Dan Fox. A nose guard from Jacksonville, Florida. Number one, the big man, Lewis Nix. Offensive guard from Glen Ellen, Illinois. Number 66, Chris Watt. A quarterback from Lake Bluff, Illinois. Number 11, Tommy Reese. Number two, Bennett Jackson. A wide receiver. He's from Roswell, Georgia. Number seven, T.J. Jones. And an offensive tackle from Indianapolis. Number 70, the Iron Man, Zach Martin.
Yes, there are always more than a few tears shed on senior day, and you can include the Calabrese family in that group. Inside linebacker Carlo Calabrese enters his final regular season game against Stanford as the leading tackler in this year's team with 76 stops and also the leading career tackler on the team with 222 tackles in his four seasons of action. He already has his Notre Dame undergraduate degree in design, which he received in May, so you know he'll have no trouble with my questions on this week's 60-second drill. Best pet, dog or cat? Dog. Favorite restaurant? Fruits Chris. Favorite sport to play other than football? Golf. Favorite sports team? Uh, Notre Dame. Get up early or sleep in? Get up early. Best nickname on the team and who has it? Two Daddy Fresh, Tavares. Best player to room with on the road? Uh, Dan Fox. Something Coach Kelly says that is always in your head. Pay attention to detail. Hardest hitter on the team. Me. Hardest player to tackle. Uh, I say George. Best singer on the team. Uh, Kona. Best dancer on the team. Uh, Prince. Best dresser on the team. Matthias. Worst dresser on the team. Stockton. Best thing about playing for Notre Dame. Fans. Carlo Calabrese, you completed 60 seconds on Inside Notre Dame Football. Thank you. All that Admire, we've got everything you need for the perfect Thanksgiving dinner. Yes. All at low Meyer prices. And that's better for everyone. Because when your money goes a little further, so can you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm very happy I made the switch. It's easy. They're great. As I go out, being nervous about going out into the world. You switch because... For what you get and what, what they give back. Of the people. It just be another thing that I know is there for me all the time. It's a no-brainer. It's about family. It's about values. It's about doing things the right way. And that's why I'm sticking with it. You just get sucked in, and it's great. We're there. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Come home. You know you're going to get the best when you go to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. It's time now for this week's Ask Coach Kelly question presented by CBTS. This week's question comes from Adam Rash of Ames, Iowa, who asks, Coach, you and your staff seem to have an uncanny ability to fit the right player at the right position to optimize their on-the-field potential. What are the keys to this process? Well, not being afraid to think outside the box. I think sometimes we get, um, you know, thinking that he can only do this and uh, he, he can only play this position. Uh, I think we think in terms of, you know, big skill. Um, we think in terms of skill players or power players instead of just positions. And I think when you think in those terms, it allows you to think outside the box. If you would like to send in a question for Coach Kelly, just log on to und.com and click on Ask Coach Kelly in the rotating boxes in the middle of the main page. The Irish conclude their regular season schedule with their biggest challenge of the season, taking on Stanford, ranked eighth in this week's BCS standings on the road Saturday night. You know, you're playing a veteran-laden team uh, that's going to be playing for, you know, the Pac-12 championship. So. Uh, we, we know how good the football team is. We took them to overtime. It's physical. We played the kind of brand of football against BYU that we've got to play and maybe even more physical against Stanford. So it'll be an easy transition in that sense uh, that they'll have to play that kind of football against Stanford uh, if they want to win the football game. And that will do it for this week's edition of Inside Notre Dame Football. We, of course, will have all the highlights of the 28th meeting between Notre Dame and Stanford on next week's show. Until then, thanks for watching, and as always, go Irish. Inside Notre Dame Football with Brian Kelly has been presented by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, and Sprint. Inside Notre Dame football has also been brought to you by ATI Physical Therapy, Bank of America, Cadillac, CBTS, Xfinity, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sears, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS.